Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante. So clearly we've talked about the Warren attempt to smear Bernie. She was kind of slipping in the polls. So a day before the debate, <laughs> she claimed, or her, it was leaked by her campaign, that Bernie said women couldn't be president a year prior. So she spent a year shaking his hand at debates and other functions and shaking his hand in the Senate. But then when she started slipping in the polls a day before the debate, and then at the debate stage, three weeks before the Iowa caucus, the first primary of the 2020 election, that's when she can't shake his hand. And all of us progressives, I mean, as it happened in real time, we were like, this is nonsense, this is nonsense, this is nonsense. Well, a new poll just came out. It backfired. Elizabeth, new national rotors poll. Sanders, 20% plus two. So Biden, 19, Warren, 12, Bloomberg, nine. A billionaire can buy his way to fourth place. He hasn't been on one debate stage. He's already in fourth place because he's a billionaire. That's a fair system. Judge six. And just to even, even Sanders, Climbs in popularity now tied with Biden. No, 20 is more than 19, Reuters. So even Bernie, get, they still got to say tied. But this is key. She is now in third place. Her numbers have dropped. Dropped. So this backfired. Why did this backfire? Because more people, after 2016, more people started paying attention, myself included. I started this show January of 2017. It's been going for three years. More people are paying attention. So, so suddenly a year, it, it, it backfired and it was such a lame attempt. But that's who Elizabeth Warren is. She was a Republican until she was 47 years old, right? She, um, we have this. Lied American Indian. This is the State Bar of Texas registration card from 1986. Elizabeth Warren, here's all of her stuff. She puts American Indian. Right? Nineteen eighty-six, this she was also a Republican. Here's Bernie getting arrested. Something he never talks about, by the way. Him and his campaign don't like, he, he's like, I don't want to, don't bring this up. Even though this is him getting arrested at a civil rights march. Yeah, he's like, I got white male privilege, but uh, then it ain't right. So I need to do something about it. Him getting arrested. Right? <laughs> Let's go back to this. Poll. Of course, Rhodes calls uh, first place. Now that means tied. Picked up, he was at 18, now he's in first. It should say Bernie went from, <laughs> is now in first place. No, he's tied now. Went from third to first. No. But here's what you're starting to see on the internet. It's totally backfiring. Here's this woman, ramen girl. I just got $135 refund for my donation to Elizabeth Warren and it's going directly to Bernie. It backfired because more people are paying attention. Roseanne DeMauro retweeted this. She's head of the nurses union, right? It's totally backfiring. It's backfiring so much that Morning Joe called out CNN. Aaron Burnett on CNN, a CNN recorder, reporter, recorder, reporter, whatever. It's backfiring on their own network, this attempt. Not exactly a progressive journalist here. Warren had no problem with this story yesterday. It was uh, clearly leaked by her team to CNN. It, was, it came out more than a year after the meeting. It came out on the eve of a debate. Uh, this is pretty clear. Uh, she knew about this. She, she sanctioned it. Everything around it indicates that. Why is she pumping the brakes now, indicating don't want to talk about this anymore? We're all cool. Warren had no problem with this well, story I'll tell you, yesterday. I, well, it was uh, clearly leaked by her team to CNN. It, was, it came out more than a year after the meeting. It, it came again. out on the eve of a debate. 
Uh, this is pretty clear. Uh, she knew about this. She, she sanctioned it. Everything around it indicates that. Why is she pumping the brakes now, indicating don't want to talk about this anymore? We're all cool. Because that's, wow. Wow. Uh, Aaron Burnett, that's a that's an ama that's a great question to ask. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, this is why. She was slipping in the polls and thought this last ditch effort. Right? So let's not forget this is who Liz Warren is. We renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. Clapping, Pelosi clapping. Huh? Huh? Cool? Wait? Wait? Oh, boom! Elizabeth Warren standing up and clapping with, look at all these white guy Republicans. Many of them start chanting, you She's standing with them. That's who she is. She's not standing with you, working class person. She's not standing with your union. She's not standing with the fact that you can't afford medication prescriptions for you or your children. She's standing with capitalism and Donald Trump. Bernie was sitting during this, by the way. Okay? She has no integrity at all has nothing to do with their gender. It has to do with their personality. Like Dr. King said, I, you judge people on the content of their character. That's horrible character. Medea Benjamin for Code Pink has amazing character. I've never met the woman. All I've done is see her just be an anti-war protester. That's character. Tulsi Gabbard, who you can disagree with on this, that, or the other thing, and there's many, there's, that's fine. She has character. She's a major in the army. She doesn't have to lie about her ethnicity. She lied about her ethnicity. Right? This is character. I met with Bernie Sanders before announcing my candidacy. We had a nice one-on-one -on -one conversation and I informed him that I would be running for president. In that meeting, he showed me the greatest respect and encouragement just as he always has. Caitlin Johnstone has no in, uh, uh, called out CNN for having no integrity. Caitlin Johnstone has a lot of integrity. CNN does not. CNN question asked Warren, what did you think when Sanders told you that a woman cannot win the election? Like it happened, like it was a fact. He said twice, I did not say that. And they should have, if they were really fair and balanced moderators, would have then turned to Warren and go, well, Senator Warren, he claims he never said that. Can you prove this? Pin them both down. He says yes, you say no. Answer this. Was it just a mis... Because some people have been online saying, well, it's just a misunderstanding. That can happen. And in general, yes, I would agree with that. You and I could have a conversation. I walk away saying, thinking, we talked about how great surfing is, and you think I said, you're too dumb to be a surfer. You know? And I go, oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant at all. I, I've had this... I've had this recently. I've had misunderstandings. Recently, with a with person, we were sitting there having a conversation and the next day they were like, hey, the thing you said really hurt my feelings. And I said, well, no, I said this whole part. And they said, oh, I don't remember you saying the first part. <laughs> they weren't listening to the first part of the, the thing that I said. And we ironed it out, it was all good. But even that was like the next day. So let me say, so she, if she honestly thought Bernie said that to her, she waited a year to bring this up a full year. That's why I don't buy the misunderstandings. Misunderstandings happen, but you don't wait a year and then, oh, gee, now I'm going to bring up this misunderstanding the day before. It's completely backfired. And Matthew Dowd writes, you know, one clear, one clear way to demonstrate that you believe a woman can be president, don't try to defeat a woman running for president. So now Bernie's a sexist for running for president? So Crystal Ball, I love rising. I'm, I'm trying to schedule to get her on this show. One clear way for Warren to demonstrate she's not an any Semite, don't try to defeat a person of Jewish faith running for president. I can play too with extremely smart takes. I love Crystal Ball, right? 
just running against Liz Warren isn't trying to keep women down. And this is, this is great because this is the other thing. You know how Bernie never brings up the fact that he was arrested at, you know, for standing up for civil rights in the 70s? He never brings up his Jewish faith, almost never. He could use that if he didn't have integrity and character. He could have called Hillary Clinton an anti-Semite all throughout the 2016 campaign and call Elizabeth Warren an anti-Semite. He never brings that up. Can you imagine that? I, I, just, I just wonder if there's any Warren or Clinton people out there listening. I hope you hear this because all of us Bernie supporters, especially the male Bernie supporters, when we said, I don't want to, or anyone who just, I didn't want to vote for Hillary Clinton because she voted for the war in Iraq and she takes money from the banks and I'm called a misogynist. I don't want to vote for Elizabeth Warren because she voted to give Trump an extra $80 billion for the war budget in October of 17, right? She stood for him. She lied about being Native American and I'm called a misogynist. So imagine anyone that doesn't like, if there's some policy about Bernie's you don't like and you put it on social media, I'm, I don't support Bernie for these re re reasons that I came to logically, you're just called anti-Semitic. Anti anything up, oh, anti-Semitic. Oh, you're anti-Semitic. Oh, you're anti-Semitic. Imagine that every time. That card is never played and that's a direction. I can almost guarantee you that's, the, that's Bernie saying to his campaign staff, uh-uh. Unless somebody says a flat out anti-Semitic thing, we don't play that card ever. And Crystal Ball's showing how ridiculous it is. Good for Crystal Ball. So, you know, it ain't working for Liz Warren. It's all falling apart. Because when you lie, right? So we all get a choice. This, lying about being Ameri Native American, this. When Bernie did an interview in C-SPAN saying, yeah, women, a woman should be president. It was 1988 when Liz Warren was a Republican. And she said, oh, I didn't do much as a Republican. She's got, she's got some excuse for everything. She's got some excuse for everything. So her plan backfired. Liz Warren's plan backfired. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Like, share, subscribe to videos. And uh, watch the ads all the way through. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. Go to rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. I put all my videos up on Rockfin. They're ad-free. It's a crypto uh, blockchain cryptocurrency platform, so the content creators own it. I'm getting throttled by YouTube. You've seen my... I've been stuck at 58,000 or whatever. Like it just won't, they just, they're unsubscribing people. I drop videos, they get two, 3,000 views. Those should be getting 20 to 30,000 views based on the number of subscribers I have, which means they're not letting people know. Many of you in the comment section say, Graham, I never got a notification. Hit the bell notification button. Even if you have before, make sure you're subscribed because they unsub, I know people said, Graham, I've subscribed to your channel like three or four times because they keep unsubscribing people. Share the videos, support what we do. If you go to GrahamElwood.com, you get my tour dates. I also have a PayPal button and I have a um, PO box if there's other ways to support the show. Because I can't, I don't get any corporate money. Pfizer, Exxon, Mobil, Raytheon, they don't support what I do. You do. I literally cannot do this show without your support. So thank you so much. You're all making Gotham great again. And boom, shave your knuckles for justice.